I slept in. It thawed out on me. Imagine it was uh, nice and frozen this morning where I should have been scraping it. Oh well. Now we gotta let her dry. So anyways, we'll just uh, let her dry and then once it's dry, I'll probably take a day or two and uh, we'll start scraping her, okay? Okay, let's see what we could do at the cabin, the little dog house, okay? Okay.
like so but anyways uh a long time ago uh a firefighting um if they didn't uh find us in a bar they usually phone us at home and uh or th they can't find us at home they'll find us in a bar <laughs> and uh they pick us up in this big school bus and then we'll have our bags ready by the road eh and then the school bus will come and we'll throw in our bags and then we'll go to the forestry office and get all booked in and you get these uh a, a yellow fanny pack and then with these uh gloves when they get wet your hands get brown and uh a little mosquito spray and what else um oh a hard hat and then you always got to ask for a, uh, a tin strap in case you know a helicopter come pick you up if your hat don't fly you'll have it eh and all you gotta do is bring your wind uh, your steel toe boots and um yeah and your your, your stuff but anyways uh each time um a thunderstorm goes through like a big thunderstorm we usually go on a Kato airstrip because it's usually over there is always uh, a lot of fires there eh? so once uh the storm goes through and then we set up our camp at the Kato airstrip and in a couple of days they'll start popping up all over and we break up in these five-man crews or four-man crews and we'll go get them we'll put them out and then come back sometimes we got to spend a night out in the bush and uh, come back to you know um, the main camp at the airstrip and uh, one, one time um, it was July it was really hot and all of a sudden the uh, weather came in and there's a lot of snow on the ground next morning it was about that much snow and uh, one of the boys they made their tent with a green pole eh? and uh, it, it snapped in the middle of the night because you always got to use a dry pole eh? But they used a green pole and it snapped in the middle of the night and um, they still slept in it. <laughs> and uh, it was so cold in camp, like wow. And um, all the old timers, eh? The old timers, uh, Jim and uh, uh, David, uh, they're smart. They found this old 10 gallon and uh, they made a stove and stovepipe and they had the hottest tent in camp. Smart, eh? We always go visit them. There's like 10, 15 of us in their in their tent, just warming up. And um, and uh, but anyways, uh, I was they they uh they made a washing machine too, eh? Yeah, those old timers. They, you know how they made it? Uh, let's see. They had a their bucket, eh? See their bucket? And um, they had a coffee can. They were made of tin a long time ago. And they'll make holes. Right? And then they'll nail it to a stick. And then they, they put their um, laundry, soap, and all that stuff in there. And their clothes. And their, and their hot water. And then with that stick, eh? Like a plunger. Everyone board the washing machine every now and then. Pretty smart, those old timers, eh? Maybe we'll make one one day. If we find a tin coffee can. But yeah, we broke up camp that day, and um, uh, we got hauled. Well, we had to wait one day because um, the road was muddy, eh, in there. So uh, we broke down camp and then we went home because fire went out with that much snow, right? So I thought I brought it up because it, it snowed. It, it snowed. <laughs> So anyways, the uh, only thing we could do is make the top plates and um, we can't do any nailing today because I need to get some more big nails and um, yeah. Here's those geese. Awesome. Yeah, it's pretty um, awesome uh, where you pick up things on your way up as you're growing up. Like, 
the washing machine from those old timers, and plus their uh, their um, wood stove for their tent. They made out of a it's like a a can like this, but metal, and um, they made their stove pipe out of uh, I think it was with those Nafa gas, and they made the. See, I should have had a camera back then, eh? That would have been a lot of awesome pictures that you would have took. But yeah, awesome, awesome. So we'll fiddle around and we'll find something to do. Or maybe just go for a walk. It's Sunday, eh? So, let's make these 12 plates. Well, there's my two top plates for that one and that one. They're about 112 inches. Okay. Um, but anyways, here's the tools I have been using. Here's my chalk line for chalking out the plywoods and stuff. A little level. My um pencil and my little builder's level and Dolores right very important and the last tool is my coffee cup <laughs> but anyways uh I'll show you how I um I laid out my for my walls on 24 on center and um, I did my floor the same way too on 24 on center okay come close I forgot I here's my other tool the old skill saw so anyways this is how I um I uh laid out my for my walls and my floor on 24 on center. Okay. See I'll go two feet right here. Like right here's two feet, right? And that's I'll these are two feet right here, or two inches apart so I want to go I want the plywood to go half of this board right like when I lay the plywood down because plywood comes in um, uh, four feet by eight feet and when you lay it out you want your walls you want your plywood to you know lay down right here and half of that plywood will be on this board and then the next plywood could go on this side so but anyways I want uh, 20, 24 inches, two feet, and I want uh, an inch back. I want 23 inches, okay? Right there. So I want back an inch, right here, inch. And then I'll go to four feet and go back an inch. And so forth, all the way down. And then I'll get my builder square and I'll go like that, okay? And then on this side, I'll put my X. That's where my stud is going to go, right here. On the X side, okay? All the way down, like that. Okay? Hope that makes sense. So, um, yeah, I'm going to put this up and then we'll see what else we can do, okay? Okay. Okay, I put my top plates in, but I didn't nail them because, remember, no big nail. Got a little piece of plywood left, so we could probably nail this too.
just tack it there for now and then we'll start uh, making some blocking. Okay? Okay. Seventeen, twenty-two, 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 seventeen, twenty-one and a quarter, twenty-two. But anyways, um, one more day till my birthday, tomorrow, fifty. So anyways, uh, while I'm cutting all my blocking, um, I guess you could just go home because that's all I'm going to do for today. And thanks for popping in, checking on me. So this is peace. And I'll see you tomorrow. Okay?